New Year's Day, you don't know what you're in for, but you know you're going to be in for a big day no matter what. All of a sudden, they've just teared down the beach. You've got to expect the unexpected. Woman's had a baby abducted, mate. Abducted? We've had a lady who has had her kid kidnapped. It's just panic stakes everywhere. The clubbies here are saying the scene is shark. This couldn't come out at a worse time. Look how many people are on the beach. We're trying to find a baby, and now we've got a shark in the mix. Today's New Year's Eve. The whole beach is definitely in party mode. That's my New Year's resolution. Do more yoga and get fit, and drink less piss. Have a baby. Have a baby? Yes. You heard it here first. Baby year. Baby year. There's an unpredictability about Bondi at this time of year. The amount of tourists that we get down here, they're just not used to it and, you know, people start to lose their common sense, so we got to kind of stay on guard. You can swim in any other spot except for here. Please. If you can swim, you're just going to attract people that cannot swim. And there are plenty of people who can't swim down here today. See the guy hanging around? Okay, boys. Guy's helping him, eh? Yeah, he's got to get out there. Guy's sucking a bit of water in. Terry's noticed a man being held up by another swimmer. Oh, he's drowned. So when I get there, I need him to hold on to the rescue mount, but he, he has his teeth in his hand. I'm kind of concerned. I didn't want him to drop his teeth to the bottom of the ocean. And they're expensive, you know. I just said, mate, do you want, do you want me to hold your teeth? Here's your teeth. <laughs> Gee, yeah, he, he gave me his teeth. Oh, you okay? All right. Yeah, he's backwards. I like the backwards, Bruce. <laughs> he's... Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We get back closer to shallow water and, you know, you think you've got no more surprises up your sleeve and... These teeth just keep falling out, you know? I ended up holding his hand. I suppose it's a pretty emotional thing for someone that just been rescued and you're the one that rescued him and they don't really want to let go of you. It was, it was quite, quite the moment. Yeah, you're right, just go. He'll see out another year. Yeah, you know, nice New Year's present for him. He's alive. How quiet is it, boys? Still eerie, it's that quiet. Eerily quiet. We have a big event going on up the back, which means that we completely clear the beach from five o'clock through till I think it's five the next morning. New Year's Day is you, you come down here, you don't know what you're in for, but you know you're going to be in for a big day no matter what. It's definitely a rush, you know, that, that's what you become a lifeguard for is for those days, New Year's Day, Christmas Day, they're, they're the ones that you want to be down here working. Team in the morning will have their work cut out for them, they've got the hangover from this big party going on, so they're going to be straight into it at five in the morning. Happy New Year. See you tomorrow. 2013. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Uh, New Year's Eve at Bondi is always a, uh, a colourful night. You know that there's always going to be people wild on the streets. There's going to be brawls, lots of drinking, lots of arrests. And, you know, of course, we finish up with the end result. They all come down for sunrise on Bondi Beach and we're pulling them out of the water. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh yeah, we're ready. <laughs> New Year's morning, we start at 5 a.m., so it, it is dark. You know, we hit the lights on the motorbike, we head out on the beach and people are swimming at 5 in the morning. And uh, it's, it's highly important that we're down here to, you know, for a duty of care for the, those lives. There we go. Welcome, baby. Welcome to a safe summer. Woo-hoo! Hello, Zoe! Happy New Year! 
<laughs> Alcohol's banned on Bondi Beach, but on New Year's Day they come straight from parties, full of booze. Just have a good night. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. What should I say to you? We're on the beach. I sense an opportunity. All the people are dancing around Kerbox. They pick him up like he's a god. <laughs> and then they baptised him. Way to start the year, is it? <laughs> They're a real unpredictable bunch and they can turn quite quickly, so you just got to be really careful. A couple of girls jumped in the buggy for a photo opportunity, and you know, I, I started digging a hole to put a sign in. All of a sudden, they've just teared down the beach 100 mile an hour. They think it's hilarious. But if I have to go to an emergency, someone could drown. These backpackers, they wouldn't steal a police car or an ambulance. But, you know, they see it as fun to steal the lifeguard's vehicle. She goes, how do you get to the pub? How do you get to the pub? Oh my god. As a result of this, we've actually put kill switches in the buggies, and you ain't gonna find them. It's all hands on deck. We've got 30 to 40,000 people down here. It's 35 degrees. We've got rips running. We've got between the red and yellow flags. Beach is packed. We've got the clubbies are on board. Uh, there's just stuff happening left, right, and centre, and we're just flat stick. The water's the priority, but on New Year's Day, you've got to expect the unexpected. Woman's had a baby abducted, mate. Abducted? Abducted. This lady, she's absolutely beside herself. It's a little baby, probably a toddler. Yeah, Laurie's an ex-lifeguard of 20 years, and he come running into the tower really concerned that a lady just reported to him that her baby had been abducted by another lady. I made an announcement down here. Yeah. A group of guys suddenly chirped up and said they're headed down towards the water's edge. This white woman and the baby. Apparently she's seen heading in the, in the direction of... She, she doesn't know the lady. She really. doesn't know the lady. Wow. Should, should we get it? Ring the police, definitely. There's such a big crowd and to try and find someone amongst that crowd who had abducted a baby was just going to be so hard to deal with. Hey, um, it's Aaron Graham here from the Bondi Lifeguards. We've like, just had a lady down here who has had her baby abducted from the beach by another lady. So it, it's, it's a, like a kidnapping, aren't it? Like it is, yeah, it, yeah. Apparently it's an attempted abduction. I'll, I'll put you onto the off-duty lifeguard. One sec. Okay. Are you there, mate? Yeah, we get missing children all the time, but never had an abducted child before. Oh, central to Terry. We have had a lady who has had her kid kidnapped from in front of the tower. I notified all the boys on the beach by the radio, but they are about to find out about their own emergency. Everything's just hit the roof. It's just panic stakes everywhere. They were calling in, so if Tom was saying that... Bobby's here at Bondi Flags are saying that the southern outpost have seen a shark. I can't believe we've got a shark. I mean, they've got the duck in the um, yellow boat out there, so I'm trying to confirm it. Oh, this couldn't come at a worse time. Look how many people are on the beach. We're trying to find a baby, and now we've got a shark in the mix. In 
the back of my mind, I know that I might have to set this shark alarm off, which is going to set this massive crowd into a frenzy, making the search even harder. Oh, hang on, Loz. Loz. That's to Aaron Graham. Is that actually got the baby? See that in... Hang on, I might be able to save you the trip here. She, she's got the baby. baby. She's got the baby back. I'm so relieved the baby's been found. Good Lord. I'm really intrigued to find out what happened, but at the moment I've got to deal with this shark. Beach day. Yeah. Sharks have been in the media lately. A surfer has lost a finger and knuckle fighting off a bull shark near Port Macquarie. Everybody thinks they see sharks. We only probably get three or four uh, sightings a year. The rest are, are false alarms. Bondi Central to Hobo. Go ahead. Apparently, though, the, the yellow boat has seen a shark at Van Buffer heading south about 10, oh, no, about 20 minutes ago. And then the outpost at South Bondi, I reckon they seen it from the beach about five minutes ago. The clubbies down at South Bondi have said they've seen the shark. Obviously, if we set the alarm off every time someone thought they seen a shark, it's going to be like the boy that cried wolf. I just don't understand how did the people from South Bondi see it and they haven't told you guys? Generally, it's my decision uh, whether we put the alarm on and clear the water. But the first domino had been knocked over, so we couldn't turn it back from there. Yeah, Taco is going to hit the switch right now. One flick of a button and everyone just goes crazy. It's a pretty big deal for a young 18-year-old trainee to set the shark alarm off at 30,000 people down at the beach. <laughs> Look at the flies, mate. He just had the biggest grin on his face. It was as wide as Luna Park. Mate, it's like they're in a ball paddling race. Coming in? This is one in a lifetime. It's about a football stadium of people just scattered on the beach, going berserk. This scene at the south of me, I've never seen anything like it. That's the most people I've ever seen on Bondi, in or out of the water. They're all out, and uh, you can just see it's literally thousands and thousands of people. Taco feels so tough when you get that alarm and it's made 30,000 people just obey his demands. This is unbelievable. Every single person at the beach would have been worried about this shark. You could tell they're all standing up, but the poor lady looking for a baby, that was the last thing on her mind. Yeah, I can see the There's only a certain amount of time that you're going to keep this massive crowd out of the water on such a hot day, so it's up to the lifeguards to make a quick call and a safe call. Bondi oh, no, Central to Hop, mate. Just an update. They've got the helicopter on the way to uh, have an aerial search. Sweep and uh, I imagine they're going to fly off right about now. Lifesaver one, the helicopter above us has done a thorough search of the bay. They're reporting excellent visibility, good clarity in the water. They're confident that there's nothing out there. They've given us the all clear to reopen the beach. Taco, can you give the all clear now the shark's gone? <laughs> we gave Taco the honour of 
of um, sound in the shark alarm to give the all clear. So we're just on and off twice. One shark case closed, one baby investigation still going. The baby was walking off and you just... Yeah, she just, yeah, she's just walking uh, after her father and I just saw her and I didn't want to let, oh, right. let her alone in the water. We've got one lady claiming that she's found a baby and then we've got another lady claiming that she's had a baby stolen. We're just sitting here and my husband's gone swimming with the, the, older, the older daughter and this young, the young girl was playing with the, the baby here. I looked around and I didn't see my one. I just thought, oh my God, what's going on? The baby was following the father and sister down towards the water's edge. And I didn't know what to do because she was just away. And the backpacker girl thought the baby was lost and thought she was doing a good deed. <laughs> and then I just went after her and I said to her, we have to go back, we have to go back. And I didn't want to wrap her like, we just don't know her. The mother's gone walking down the water's edge to be informed by a member of the public that a lady had picked the baby up and wandered off into the crowd. I just can't describe how I felt. A lot of things go through your mind in such circumstances. I don't really want to think about it. It was just a massive case of miscommunication. It was just one of those crazy days. Lifeguards don't really like surprises. But on New Year's Day, the surprises can kind of keep you going. Yeah, mate, I saw a hand go up there. Yeah, go. JT's in. JT's hey, doing a great job at South Pond Night today. Mind yeah. you, Terry. Great job. I've seen JT perform hundreds of these rescues and, um, I suppose always in the back of your mind, just thinking, what's this one going to throw up? So it's a simple board rescue, but she doesn't want to get on for some reason. I've had my fair share of surprises, so, you know, maybe Yatesy might get his own little surprise this time. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw her, but I can only see her head. Look, we don't get to rescue many topless girls. Oh, I didn't care. I'm European. I don't give a f More girls should swim uh, topless because it's just free. It's a free feeling. Attention all the swimmers out in the water. The lifeguard service is now going to finish. I'm finding a little bit of a buzz from a day like today. It's quite spectacular, really. It's... Just a mass of people and everyone's just having a good time. It's just a little after seven, which is a good result, and we're just shutting up and we're gonna go home, I suppose. Shark alarm. Holiday hangovers on hold as Bonai lifeguards order swimmers from surf. Who hit the alarm? Me. Gosh, there's just all over the news. New Year's Day, there's just been a shark at Bondi and thousands of people have been rushed out of the water. But last night when I got home, my mum and dad couldn't believe how many people were down the beach. And they said um, there was a big chaos going down there. The sun set off a shark alarm. And then when, it, when they told me that, I just go, yeah, it was me. You it or what happened? Yeah, it was all pretty hot, so <laughs> it's just one to blame, it's hot though. Mum and dad just started laughing, and yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's good, isn't he?